This is a follow-up video on some things that I learned or missed after making my first video on Dolphin microphone support. If you're trying to use your microphone with Dolphin for the first time, I urge you to watch my first video because this one only goes over some things that I missed with the Wii side of things and will not cover GameCube microphone setup. That video also goes over how to roll back drivers if your microphone still isn't working the way you want it to. Assuming you've watched that video and you still need help, then carry on here. To try using a microphone that didn't work with the primary Zadig method, keep Zadig open and instead change the driver to the appropriate microphone's composite parent. Open the options and check off Ignore Hubs and Composite Parents. Then find the name of your microphone followed by the words Composite Parent and replace that driver with LibUSBK. You may be prompted by Windows about this change. Don't worry, this is normal and necessary to accept. Reminder that changes here can be reverted by following a segment of my previous video. I've also learned that apparently, allegedly, you cannot use just any USB microphone, and that only Logitech microphones are compatible with the Wii side of Dolphin. However, this seems to be only partially true. The drivers installed via Zadig seem to be identified as Logitech drivers, but I've applied it to a generic slash unbranded microphone as shown here. I wanted to show also the unbranded generic no logo microphone it's plugged in over there if you go into the device manager this is it here and it is an unbranded generic usb microphone as identified here and now i've got zadig open and the options i have the uh, composite parents thing uh, turned off and then the list it still identifies it in Zadig as an unbranded USB microphone, and it's the composite parent. And uh, my point is I'm going to change this, and it's still going to work, even though it's not branded as Logitech. And in this list, it's still listed uh, as a generic USB microphone. There's still no brand attached to it. But for whatever reason, when you go back into device manager and check it out, it becomes rebranded. Uh, it went from Microsoft to Logitech. And for some reason, it even shows up as a Logitech microphone in the Dolphin whitelist menu now. But when I tried to convert my Apex 440, it did not work with any method and would crash my game shortly after loading. Its name also did not show up in the whitelist. I don't have a good answer as to why these things happen, so it seems to be a case-by-case -case basis. My only guess is that it could have something to do with the differences between condenser and dynamic microphones, but that's just a theory. I also cannot vouch for whether or not real XLR microphones would work for Dolphin with any combination of USB converters. So if you happen to be in this niche little crowd where you have that kind of equipment instead of ordinary USB microphones, and you also have an interest in this sort of stuff, then your answer will be better than mine after you try yourself. If by the end of both of these videos you still cannot connect your microphones to Dolphin, I would suggest you get a dynamic USB microphone. No adapters, no converters, just a plug and play USB mic. If that doesn't work, then try a Logitech brand dynamic microphone. If it still is not working for you, then sadly, I do not have an answer.